Okay, Waka, say we're going to do on page 17, interval and inequality notation. Let's take a look at some vocabulary. Set is a collection or group, element, an item in a set, a subset is a set within a set, an empty set is a null set without elements, finite set is a limited number of elements, infinite set is unlimited number of elements. Notation. Roster list, aka cell builder. Example 1, alphabet. Example 2, positive even numbers. Inequality use inequality symbols which are less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to. Example, x is less than 2, or x is greater than, equal to 5. Example 4, x is greater than, equal to, negative 1, but less than 2. All right, go ahead and I'll let you write down the symbols here. And then you look at example 5, you have negative infinity to 2, or 5 to infinity. Example 6 is negative 1 to 2, not including 2. All right, go ahead and finish writing that up, and let's take a look at the first example. All right. Parentheses indicate values that are not equal. Brackets indicate values that are equal. Parentheses are an open circle. Brackets are a closed circle. Okay? So inequality says x is less than 2. Interval notation would be... From negative infinity to two parentheses. On a graph, you always want zero. So two is right here. It's an open circle. And we're shading. Now, example two, we have bracket negative three to infinity. That means x is greater than or equal to negative three in inequality notation. Okay? Now, again, we're going to use zero because negative three would be right here. That means we have a closed circle. Okay? And then we're shading to the right. And it looks like my blue is running out. So let me convert over to a different color. Blue isn't working well, so let me... do this so it's it's very clear where the shading is okay all right now what this means is parentheses negative one to three bracket now we're going to put zero that means negative one right here open circle Okay, and then three right here, close circle, and then we shade in between. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. So this would be negative four less than x, less than or equal to 5. So again, you always want to put 0, so you have reference. So this would be negative 4, open circle, and then 5, right here, close circle, and then we shade in between. All right, so then this would be white out this to make some space because this is a very long problem. So we have negative one less than x 
less than or equal to zero, or we have x greater than two. Okay, so zero. Now negative one, let's put right here. Now this would be an open circle right here. Close circle, we shade, and then we have two right here, open circle, and then we're shading to the right. All right, go ahead and finish up the examples. And let's take a look at the last examples. Okay, on what interval, let me try to make this as big as I can, is it decreasing? Okay, so it's decreasing here. So from, it's decreasing from negative infinity to positive 2, not including 2. Okay, now it's negative, here's the negative, here's the positive, okay, it is, now we're talking about x, so it's negative from negative infinity to, it looks like, let's just call that 6 right there, so 2, 6, All right? Now it's positive from 6 to infinity, and then it's constant between 2 and 5. Now, that includes bracket because it's constant at 2 and 5. Okay, go ahead and finish up your example, start working on your assignment, and have a wonderful Wildcat day.